Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can export the data source settings in Power BI. So this is very useful in scenarios like those where you have a complex uh, connection strings like for example you are connecting to a cloud based data source or any server based data source like SQL Server, MS SQL and uh, any of those sort of things. Then in that, that case, if let's say you have to or your multiple team members are using the same type of data source. So maybe you can just configure one, save it in the export data settings file and give it to them so that they don't have to go through the same thing again and again. All right. So how I can how you can do that is something which I'll show you in a minute. And if you have landed very first time on my channel, then just a quick information that this sheet is a live sh Google sheet which is present in the description you can easily access and all of my previous videos and future videos will be available since it is a live sheet so you will always have the most current sheet and uh, you can search any of my video uh, by searching via the text and jump to it through uh, through the column b the link present in column b also um, you know you can keep it as a bookmark for your learning and uh, your learning power bi learning repository all right with that Let's move on to Power BI. Let me just open that up. I think I shut it down. So I am opening my Power BI as you can see. And uh, what I will going to open is the is the sample superstore file, uh, which is the which is having two data, two different data connection. So this is the one uh, which I'm using. So I've just clicked it over here and it will give us all the visualization that I have explained previously if you have been watching all of those and here is basically order people and returns is basically the sheet the the data from the sample superstore and here you have the data from the uh, airline data set so with that if I want to export the settings let's say these are some of the cloud based data settings that are there and you want to export it you need to come here in the file in options and settings the data source settings and here you have the two data source so it is showing the data source that is in the current file and it is asking you which data source you want so you want the airline passengers or you want the superstore whatever data source you want you just select that and click on export to pbits so this is airline passengers file so i'm just saving this airline passengers file and now with that uh, what do I have is basically the PBI TS file is already saved. If you want to connect, you don't find anything over here in the connection like uh, connect to PBI TS file or Power BI data source file. You have the Power BI data set, but they are different. As you can see, create a live connection to data set in the Power BI service, but it is not exactly the same as PBI TS. Same in more, if you will go, you will not find it. So how you can do that? So thing is, what you can do is uh, you can use this file, the airline passengers file, which I have just shown it via the export process. So you can just double click over here and it will take you directly to that file. Wherever that file is, it will directly take you. Same is the case with any cloud based data connection or any server based data, another server based data connection that is probably on premise. and what it will going to do is establishing a connection as you can see and it will give the tables so what tables we want to connect so like airline passengers file and i want to connect to the sheet one same is the thing is this so i just want to load this and you will going to have the data inside the power bi with a, within like couple of seconds Otherwise, let's say even if your team is spending like three to four minutes connecting, testing and all of that, then all of that time you can easily save by simply having it. Also, it's, it's useful in scenarios like those. You don't have to really remember the data source settings. So that's something I wanted to show you very quickly how you can do that about from the settings that is available. Now, I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.